Hey guys, it is a dark, gloomy day in Florida, but I am determined to remain positive and determined to accomplish my signings today. I had to load up and homemade tea. I mean, it wasn't homemade, but it wasn't store bought. Like, I put tons of ginger, turmeric, honey. Oh, and then the tea that I have, I forgot the name, but it's good for like chest congestion. Because your girl got something going on and she's trying to stop it. I have I have too much to do today. My first signing is a quick claim deed from another state, actually. So this person um is signing today. Looks like their family left them property, like brothers and sisters' property, and they have to they're selling it, so they have to sign over the deed. The deeds, um, I am just extremely careful because any little thing you can get sued for. Like any little thing that you miss can possibly end up in a lawsuit. So for example, if the name on the ID, all the documents says junior, senior, the third, the second, you better look and make sure both IDs and the name matches. Little things like this can mean that someone's trying to it's a notary's job to make sure that you are reading the names and the names are matching exactly who is signing and to get up on someone else or someone is trying to you know purchase a property or get the property and it's not theirs let's listen be very careful because a lot of scams are going on um and it's truly I just posted something. Yeah, so basically the grantor is the person that is giving the property to someone else. So I am signing my rights away. I'm giving it to such and such. And the grantee is the new owner. It's the person that's going to be having it. So when it comes to a family, most of the times the parents um, are the grantors and they're putting the, their the kids' names. So they are the grantee now. Think of it as grantor being the seller, grantee being the buyer. Um, hopefully that helps. But yeah, you have to be really careful. You, many notaries are just notarizing whatever they see. They know they get a, a, an appointment for a particular person and they just look at the ID and they go, yeah, this matches my appointment name. No. like a, a entry like a song you know like a, a beginning what's it called like a starting song you know like welcome to Griselle's reblog mm. mm. no no okay then I won't go there um <laughs> so it is 10 a.m and I've made eighty dollars so far 10 a.m. and I've made $80. Guys, I need um, car magnets. I used to have car magnets and though like having car magnets definitely helped me um, because I will stop at like, a restaurant and people be like, oh, are you a notary? Can I get something notarized? Or my favorite place was UPS. Haha. <laughs> yep, it was UPS and what I'll do is I'll go to UPS and um, I'll park closer to the store and it said my car magnet said, said notary and people go to UPS for notaries and I will be in UPS sometimes dropping off packages or just in my car 
and people will call me like I'm right in front of UPS I see you can you notarize my document I'm like okay because the lines were like too long I loved it so one flew off and then the other one I got I went to a car wash and I'm like I don't know what the heck what the heck hold on this freaking car anyways I don't know what the heck happened that the scrubby thingies anyways my name was getting faded long story short so I'm gonna order me some new car magnets mm -hmm. I'm gonna see um, if Vistaprint has them cheaper than FedEx or what it's it's always one of them to have you know a better price than the other yes FedEx does um, printing so FedEx office there you go they do printing boo-boo so anyways yes it's 10 a.m. and I have made $80 but it's eighty dollars with two signings. Let me explain. So the first one was from BankServe, and it was a um, a deed. So the deed was from another person from Texas signing over. You know, I guess it, her parent, her her mother was putting a name on the the property on their name. I can't speak today. Anyways, long story short. My first appointment was literally one page, a deed. I had to sign, she had to sign. Um, and then my second appointment was a commencement. A commencement. Um, a commencement document from Standard Notary Services. They used to be like $50, then it went down to $40, and now I see them for $30. So, I took the $30 because I was going home. It was literally right next to my house, like 10 minutes away. And where else are you going to make $30 in 10 minutes? One document. One document with a little stamp. Ching, 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 ching. There you go. A lot of people do not like taking the commencements because they're super cheap. Um, I was that person. But then, I was like, let me just think smart. Let me do this smarter. And if the commencement is in my town, which is a small town, if it's in my town, then I'll take it. I'll take the damn $30, $40 for 10 minutes. Why not? Those things add up. So, my notary friend, um, she got like a $500 check at the end of the month because she did $500 worth of commencements. There is money to be made, especially when it's just one document. I'd rather do one document than do freaking having to print 100 and something documents. I've seen people, I've seen like CX Choice, they are sending out refinance, refinance packages that are like 150 pages for $60, $60. So let me stop complaining about $30 for one document because a refinance, $60, you gotta be bugging. Like, first of all, you're notarizing multiple documents and in Florida, we can charge up to $10. And so, so basically, if I'm charging $10 a notar uh, stamp, that's six pages I'm notarizing and most likely in a, in a refinance package you're notarizing six to ten pages so what happened to printing costs and gas like what I don't get it in labor like I don't I don't understand where they get their six dollars from so that's extremely upsetting like I don't understand with sixty dollars and it's like the minimum of the minimum document but it, Address. It's a little spooky because it's like at the very end of the town and it's surrounded by water and boats, but not like in a luxurious, like oh my gosh, way in a little like okay. Is I know what you did last summer, killer, <laughs> somewhere out there. <laughs> That's what it looks like. So I am patiently waiting for them. They went to the bank to wire their money at the same time as the um appointment was supposed to start and 
I was told that this appointment has to go quickly because they are really busy. So I am going to try my best to be professional and quick and accurate. Um, and scan bags are requested at the end of the signing because funding and everything else needs to be approved. So again, hmm. you guys are amazing for like watching my my video blogs and going through the ups and downs of me seriously amazing today i had a deed a commencement signing a buyers later on i have a refinance and then tomorrow i didn't have anything scheduled but I went ahead and I contacted a couple of signing agencies, signing services, and I told them if you have anything I can help you with um, tomorrow, I'm completely free. Let me know what I can help you with. And now I have two signings for tomorrow. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but you have to try. So I just picked up a center side. So add it to my list. Um, believe it or not, this week I must have lost about three to four hundred dollars already in opportunities because I didn't have a witness to come with me for this seller side for seller sides and um again the business in this business is a hit and it's a miss sometimes you lose some sometimes you win some so it is what it is I'm not always winning there's times that I'm completely like there's no business and I'm calling and emailing and then there's times that I'm busy back to back. So you just, you just never know. But the last week of the month, I'm always busy. Major things to accomplish, major goals. So whatever you didn't accomplish at the beginning of the month, aim to accomplish at the end. Come on, Jack, you done? So someone asked how much money did I make today? So today is a $325 day. Um, am I happy? Heck yeah, I'm happy. Am I tired? Heck yeah, I'm tired. Um, did I have to work? Do I have to work all day? I actually went home a couple of times. So I went home, I walked my dog, I ate some soup, I relaxed, I printed some documents. So it's not like I'm on the road all day long, but yesterday I did fill up my tank, 10 gallons. I filled up my tank and right now my light is on. I have to get gas. So us notaries, we do drive a lot and we're constantly filling up um, our tank. Yesterday was a, I want to say, wasn't it a $300, $300 a day too? Yesterday I made $300 as well. I think it was like $300 or $400. I have to double check. I made over three hundred dollars, but obviously they're not coming direct. If they were coming direct, then I'll be making a hundred, hundred, hundred twenty-five, hundred fifty per signing. But that is not always the case. So I am working more with signing services. I don't mind because they're keeping me going. They're constant notifications. But when you work direct to make three hundred dollars, you possibly you probably only need like two signings. You know, so your day is much shorter. I am working towards that. The only thing is, I was working with a direct um, title company, and they wanted me to like stay in the office, make copies, do paperwork, and I just felt like it was a nine to five again. And I didn't. I want a preferred notary for a title office per se, because they have only used me for like a backup. So I know if I go out and promote my business and go really hard then I can possibly, you know, get more business. I do have someone that's two hours away that recommends me. And she sends me, you know, at least once a month, she sends me a job over here in Tampa. And I know whatever, she's, whatever she sends me is $150. Um, I never complain about her. She's amazing. She was for a title agency. I was a backup ASAP notary that was needed one time, and she kept me. So... At least I know that's a partnership. If it was closer, maybe I, I would be working more with her. But unfortunately, she is two hours away. And the other signing, not, the other uh, title offices in my town just use me as backups when it's when I'm stuttering. 
So another notary asks, signing service versus direct. Where are my jobs coming from? It, I had to do five signings today, five appointments to get $300. So obviously, another question someone said, what do I do when it's slow? Okay, so when was it? Last month, a whole bunch of notaries kept saying it was really slow for them. And that was, like, my best month. Like, I had, like, 40 signings last month. Um, it wasn't slow for, it wasn't slow for me this month. Um, I think I have, like, 35 so far. Maybe more. I'm trying to remember. But, like, when it's slow, introduce yourself. Make sure your profiles are updated. I had to get new E&O insurance. I had to get a new background check. Make sure, you know, your profiles are updated. Make sure you are consistently signing up with services. I've signed up with, like, 200 of them. But it is what it is. Just make sure your name is out there. And if you're ready, then go ahead and focus on going direct. Go ahead. Do it. Guys, I am done. Finish my refinance. I had a refinance at six. I'm done at seven o'clock. Um, I was still getting notifications for other signings, but I'm not taking anything else. Honestly, I'm not gonna go home, stress myself out to print, then run out. It's raining, it's dark. I had enough of this cold weather. I've been drinking tea all day. I think my job is done for today. So I'm ending the night with actually $350. Um, again, it's a good day for me. Now I'm going to go home and cook some dinner and call it a night and I'll be back tomorrow. If you guys have any more questions that you would like me to answer, um, please drop it in the DM and I would definitely answer. There was one question did ask me, it was a new notary, um, what was the highest amount I accepted a refinance for, and what was the lowest, and was it um, direct versus signing, sorry, signing services. Uh, the lowest I accepted a refinance for is when I first started. I did $60 for a refinance. I was trying to get the experience, get my feet wet, learn. So, yeah, I did $60. Um, once I did a couple of those and I tried to up my price, this signing service in particular was like, no, this is what they go for. So, I, I had to go on and move on to the next. Um, the highest I did was $200. And that was direct. And, um, yeah, I mean, but for the services, it, it all differs. Because I'm a preferred notary, for example. I'm a preferred notary with signing service A. And their refinances will be $85, $90. And then I'm a preferred notary uh, with signing service B. And they will give me 110 You know, um, I've seen 120 It all depends. So it's not... Signing service versus um, direct. It's not. At the end of the day, the money is out there. It's possible. You can either wait around for a direct or you can go ahead and take these notifications. So I didn't want to answer the question, but, you know, here you go. Those, that's my experience. That's my answer. Hopefully this helps someone.